been a longer ordeal than I expected. I had ordered a new a replacement pulley for this because the top two shivs had I'd broken them trying to take it apart once. Uh, I went online, I found four or five parts houses that claimed to have this piece and I went to the one that actually said they had it in stock and they shipped me a, a pulley and it had a part number to it uh, that was attached to it. It was the correct part number for the spindle pulley but it was actually a motor pulley and it wasn't really a true replacement for this motor pulley. It was slightly different on the, the shiv sizes. Um, it was solid on the bottom and uh, it had a Morse taper on the inside because that's what this has is a Morse taper on the inside. But this one here is a key. It's keyed to the motor shaft. It's also hollow. And so it wouldn't, I couldn't use it for the motor pulley if I wanted to. Anyways, uh, I went and contacted that uh, company that shipped it to me. And they said, well, that's all they had. And they refunded me the money for the pulley, not for shipping. I looked really hard then for other companies who would have the part. All those parts houses were actually going back to Delta, and Delta didn't have any. Well, I'm stuck. Do I have one of these fabricated? Do I throw the drill press away? It's a decent drill press. It's a radial arm drill press. It allows me to do a bunch of different drilling angles. I can make it a deeper throat or whatever I need to do. So it really was for it worth fixing, I thought. Anyway, so I had the bottom three shivs were good on this pulley. And as it turned out, the pulley they shipped me, even though it wasn't identical to this motor pulley, the top two shivs on that pulley were identical to the ones I had to replace on the original. So I found a machinist, which isn't that easy in this day and age to do small jobs like this. Uh, he was kind of pricey, but he did a good job. And what he ended up doing was, because it's hollow, he had some challenges, but he's able to machine down and cut off the original two shivs and then graft on the, the uh, top of the, that other pulley. So now I have a working pulley. Now I can continue the job and put it back together and get my drill press back in action. These are some Telvac files. I used to work on teletypes back in my Navy days. And these have been the handiest little things. That's the one I'm flat. Here we go. So these bearings stack up shoulder onto that and then there's a uh, snap ring goes there because <clears throat> that was bashed up. I think <clears throat> this is mushroomed out a little bit so I'm going to have to, I think I might have to uh, file it down a bit. took them apart. Not so much now. Uh, maybe I've ruined that. But um, it's still a press fit. I can't get the bearing on here. But what I have done is I've, uh, in the background, I've got my bearings heating up. My little homemade space heater. Hot air. And I'm just going to warm up the bearings a bit. Should slide on. That'll do. Let's get the snap ring on there.
Okay. Okay, I, there's a set screw that goes in there. You can't see it. That set screw goes into this plastic bit here. And I can't put that in there with the shaft in there. So I have to take this uh, spindle out of this pulley. Great. So that set screw is roughly, when the top of that is level with the top of that, the set screw should go into that plastic bit. Yeah, okay. thought of something. This thing flips on its side. You can just see where he had machined it. This is the new part. That shoulder in there is the original pulley. And he's got this machined in a step there so he could press it on. creeped around again. Didn't want to stay. The important one is here to here. 89.44, 89.43. So that and that are good. The motor is not quite so good, but it's got the belt here being flexible, so we're, we should be okay. Got this on the fastest setting now. See how she goes. That's good. The one thing I've always missed in this shop is I've never had a drum sander. And uh, I've seen some videos where people use a drill press for that. I never could because the fast speed was broken. Now I've got that fast speed and I've got a good drum sander. Good. Uh -huh. 